Welcome to Judy's on the series, dear viewers. Remember, Jonathan Pollard has been incarcerated for 30 years. He is now on parole under very severe, very severe, very, very severe restrictions on his coming and his goings. He has a bracelet on his arm with a signal letting his jailers know. I call them jailers, parole officers, if you will. And he has to check in constantly, even on Shabbos, the Sabbath, ipso facto violating the Jewish Sabbath. The crime that Jonathan Pollard committed was the crime of the century, according to the uncircumcised Gentiles of both the Democrat and Republican parties, disrespectfully of each. Only after 30 years was he freed. And what was his crime? The crime was saving Jewish babies, infants, children, and women and men from being slaughtered by the two-legged mule, Arab, Muslim, predator, homicide, Islamo-fascist terrorists. Jonathan Pollard gave to our ally Israel the exact locations of all the terrorist bases throughout the Middle East. Now, this was done without the Pentagon approving of it. Thereby, Jonathan Pollard was jailed. But an unheard of time of 30 years. Not even spies for the former Soviet Union, the lethal enemy of the United States of America. Americans did not receive 30 years to life. Yet, Jonathan Pollard did because of the anti-Semitism so entrenched in the Democratic and Republican parties, dear viewers. Needless to say, the Democrats, whom we have dubbed the Demo-rats that they are, have a much greater number of most heinous form of racists that is anti-Semites than do the Republican Party. But not even one anti-Semite is tolerable. Because we are very, uh, very, very narrow-minded and very unfair when it comes to the most heinous form of racism, and that's anti-Semitism. Now, dear viewers, what we would like you to do for Jewish American hero Jonathan Pollard is to contact the president. And I'm going to give you the number. So have your writing materials out. Prepare them now. You're going to call the presidential conference hotline. And in the presidential conference hotline, you're going to let whoever answers the phone that you are a registered voter and that you are asking that the president of the United States pardon, give a pardon Jewish American hero Jonathan Pollard to vacate the parole so that he, Jonathan Pollard, be a free man and he wants to make Aliyah, go to Israel. The number you're going to reach the presidential conference hotline is 202-456-1414. 202-456-1414. Not loud enough for you? 202-456-1414. You're going to tell them you're a registered voter and that you're asking that the president immediately vacate the parole for Jewish American hero Jonathan Pollard. Spell his name as P-O-L-L-A-R-D. P-O-L-L-A-R-D. Next, I'm going to give you the, oh, you're going to call, by the way, 
before we get to quote unquote next, you're going to call daily between 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. the presidential comments hotline. That is 202-456-1414. Now, I'll give you the number of a switchboard on the house on Capitol Hill. You'll be able to contact all the members of both houses. And you're going to tell them the same. You're a registered voter, and you would like them to nudge the President of the United States, the pardoned Jewish American hero, Jonathan Pollard. The number uh, of the switchboard will you'll be obtaining the phone number, the fax number, and the email of all members of both houses. 202-224-3121. 202-224-3121. Two two four three one two one. Last but not least, you'll obtain the phone number, the fax number, and you're going to fax the President of Israel, which I will be giving to you at the end of the program in what is termed the credits, and you're going to ask him to nudge the President of the United States of America, the part Jewish American hero. Jonathan Pollard. Dear viewers, we have another demo rat running for mayor. He's an uncircumcised Gentile. He's truly a pagan. Uh, his name is de Blasio. Now, Bill de Blasio when he was a councilman. Did you hear me? Is it loud enough? He was, when he was a councilman. He reinstated a black racist anti-Semite. This black racist teacher anti-Semite made Volum voluminous and vituperative anti-Semitic remarks. He was removed from the Board of Education. But Councilman, Councilman de Blasio reinstated a black racist. There are those of us who will not tolerate anti-Semitism from a majority of Americans who are white Caucasian crackers. We're certainly not going to tolerate it from a minority who are of color. Mayor de Blasio, Bill de Blasio, this uncircumcised pagan Gentile, must not be reelected to be the mayor of New York. He has alienated the NYPD and the NYPD has given quid pro quo. When he appears at mass gatherings, there are a good number of police officers that turn their backs on him. Then he went of all places in the world to Germany to stalk President Trump who was attending an economic summit there. And he did it fully aware of a citywide mourning for an assassinated NYPD officer. De Blasio turned his back, his odorous back, to a hero of the NYPD, a New York police department officer that was shot dead.
And then he went to a parade on Manhattan. When a terrorist who spent more than 35 years in a federal prison for his role in a 1975 bombing that left four New Yorkers dead. And at this parade, he marched, notwithstanding that they honored a terrorist. But to top it all, dear viewers, de Blasio endorsed a black, another black racist who also adopted Islam as his faith. Uh, endorsement of Congressman Keith Ellison, Yamach Shemo, for chairman of the DNC, the Democratic National Committee chairperson. Notwithstanding that this black Muslim racist, Ellison, was associated with the Nash Nation of Islam leader, Louis Trashcan. Fcan, Farrakhan, Fcan, Trashcan. Now, dear viewers, I will reiterate again, we will not, we shall not tolerate anti-Semitism in the wake of the Holocaust by a majority of Americans who are white Caucasian crackers. We're certainly not going to tolerate it from a minority who are of color. In addition, this black Muslim racist, Keith Ellison, opposed U.S. funding for Israel's Iron Dome missile defense. His fellow Islamo-fascists shooting in rockets into Israel from Gaza maiming and murdering Jewish babies, children, women and men the Iron Dome is able to shoot down these missiles but black racist Islamo-fascist Keith Ellison was against the funding of it Keith Ellison is aiding and abetting the murderers of Jewish babies, children, women, and men. He is an accessory to the murder. And he's also in support of the BDS movement. This is a movement like a prune movement. full of human waste excrement. BDS is for the boycotting of Jewish products. Dear viewers, whether one is a white fascist or a black fascist, like so-called Congressman Keith Ellison, there's no difference, no difference at all. In addition, Bill de Blasio's administration does not have Jewish Orthodox people in its administration, especially in decision-making policy. 
Dil, uh, Bill de Blasio is indeed a progressive, or we term him a regressive, socialist, uncircumcised pagan Gentile. No difference between the socialists of the left or the socialists of the right. That's, you heard correctly, dear viewers. Nazi is an acronym in German for the National National Arbeiter Socialist Partei, the National Socialist Workers Party. National Socialist Arbeiter Arbeiter Partei. The Germans, Nazis, were socialists. Mussolini was a fascist. Big difference there, viewers. Anyone who votes for this uncircumcised anti-Semite, this pagan, he has no faith, dear viewers. His faith is socialism. And when it comes to the Jewish people, it's the same socialism of the Nazis. He associates and endorses Gentiles, who openly declare to commit another genocide on the Jewish people that is a Holocaust. The Holocaust should be on all those Gentiles who advocate for another Holocaust and their accessories, their viewers. De Blasio is a racist in his bones. When as a councilman, when as a councilman, he came to the defense of a black racist, anti-white and specifically anti-Semitic black teacher in the New York public school system. He was taken out and off the teaching staff, but Councilman Bill de Blasio, the Gentile, pagan, uncircumcised, two-legged canine, reinstated the most virulent the most extreme and radical race baiter and anti-Semite. Whom was he trying to impress? His black, bisexual, black so-called wife? And I reiterate again and again, we will not, we shall not tolerate anti-Semitism, the most heinous form of racism from a majority of Americans who are white Caucasian crackers. I'm using the black racist terminology. If we will not tolerate it from a majority of Americans who are Caucasian white crackers, we're certainly not going to tolerate it from a minority who are of color. De Blasio 
and his support of so-called Congressman Keith Ellison. Keith Ellison is a demagogue. He is both a black racist and an Islamo-fascist, combined in one. Dear viewers, there was a Jew in name only, Jewish in name only. J is Jewish, I is in, N, name, O is an only. And that's Senator Chuck Schumer. He supported and he endorsed this black, Islamo-fascist, racist Keith Ellison. This is the same Schumer, the verstunkene Schumer, the dreck, the Eiswurf, the capo collaborator, who went running to Harlem to congratulate A black racist over there, Al Sharpton. This is the, sh this is the Schumer. A Jewish traitor. Just as in the concentration camps, there were a small minority of Jews that collaborated with the Nazis. They were known as Judenrat slash Kapos. This is what Schumer is. Schumer is in no way Jewish, not kosher, doesn't observe the Sabbath, doesn't study the Torah. Schumer knows more about other religions than his own. Schumer has no business being a senator of New York. When it came to the new nuclear Iran deal, most Democrats, overwhelmingly, the Democrats, the Democrats, the Democrats, voted to genocide the Jewish people. Now, Schumer knew that if he supported it, there's no way he's going to win the next senatorial election. But this is what this coy, two-legged canine did. This blasphemer and traitor to the Jewish people. He voted against the deal, but he told fellow Democrats, Democrats, they don't have to follow his, his vote. He openly was saying, dear viewers, that he had no choice. The Jewish vote would go against him en masse. There isn't an iota of Jewishness in his bent. He's bent over like this in that aging, arthritic, pariah, a two-legged, tenufus, shtick dreck, Schumer. Schumer is a blatant anti-Semite. Dear viewers, we are inclusive. Anyone that's anti-Semitic, whether it be someone from the right, the center, the left, whether they are of a particular religion or political persuasion, or ethnic, racial, and religious backgrounds. An anti-Semite is an anti-Semite is an anti-Semite. May God put upon them terrible, terrible punishments, wrath. As it says in the Talmud and the Jewish law, Kalilas Chacham, the curse of a rabbi, he ba'o shall come to fruition, to fruition in the Talmudic trait, tractate of Makos Portfolio 11, side 1. 
and so shall it be. Dear viewers, a psalm for peace. Psalm 29. Hashem Ozla Moyitain, God will give his people strength. Hashem Yuvarech, Esamova Shalom, God and God alone will give his people peace with the coming of the Mashiach, with the coming of the real Jewish Messiah who has not yet come, whom we await daily. The peace that the world envisions for the Jewish people is spelled P I E C E, pieces of Jewish body parts flying in the air from Gaza, shooting in missiles. Suicide bombers, Arabs shooting, axing, stabbing, and running over Jews in Israel in motor vehicles. That type of peace shall be visited upon the anti-Semitic nations of the world. And so shall it be. May we pray for Tchias HaMesim Amosh, the revivication, the coming back to life, the coming back to life, to life, of all worthy Jews since the time of the founding father of Judaism, Abraham, nearly 4,000 years ago, and say in unison, Amen, 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 King Yehiratzon, the Karev Mamosh, and so shall it be. Anyone who is for advocating slicing up our God-given land, our religious, our historical, national, and religious sites and lands, let their countries be sliced up salami style. Never, 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 never again, never again, never again. And again, Amen, say in unison, Amen, 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 Ken Yehirat Song Bekarev Mamish, and so shall it be.